And welcome back folks, Professor Almeida here to show you how to practice for the Microsoft Office Specialist or MOS exams using Gmetrics practice software. I'm going to show you around the Gmetrics dashboard, the Gmetrics practice environment, and how to turn in your test results all in this video. So if you need to use that pause button, it's there waiting for you. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You can see that I have Gmetrics open here in my web browser. Simply visit gmetrics.net, that's gmetrics with an X, and if it's your first time, go ahead and sign up for a new account. I'm going to go ahead and log in with mine here. And again, if you need to get caught up on the process, feel free to use that pause button. So this is the Gmetrics dashboard, and before you start your first Gmetrics exam, and you only need to do this once by the way, click on redeem in the navigation pane. Now, you do need an access code to take exams in Gmetrics, and you can find the access code on the home page of our class site in Canvas. So if you go into Canvas, and then click into our class site, scroll down on the home page, and you should see an access code there, and you can quickly copy and paste it into the box here in Gmetrics. Okay, so once you have copied and pasted, the access code into this box, click redeem, and you're all set. If you have any questions about Gmetrics, take a look at the help and user guide. All right, let's get started here. Click on start new test in the navigation pane. You'll see that I have a number of different certification exams. We're interested in Microsoft Office 365 2019 as of this video. You can see that you can practice for the MOS in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, and Outlook. What we're really interested in, though, is the Excel Associate and Access Expert exams. Okay, I'm going to show you the Excel Associate in this video. For those of you practicing for the MOS Access Expert, it's pretty much the same thing. Let me go back to uh, illustrate this. So again, if you're practicing for the MOS Access Expert, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, So again, Excel Associate or Access Expert. Now you'll see that you have two practice exams, three skill reviews, and two concept reviews. The skill reviews and concept reviews are pretty similar to what you would find in SimNet and SAM training simulations. The practice exams pretty much replicate the MOS environment. And you'll notice that there are two different modes here, training mode and testing mode. In training mode, there is no time limit. So if you need to get familiar with the MOS environment, perhaps you need to brush up on your skills and fill in the gaps with certain topics that probably weren't covered or maybe you've forgotten about, this is where you want to start, okay? Testing mode replicates the MOS environment where you have 50 minutes to get through all of the tasks, okay? If you are taking Gmetrics as part of an assignment, okay, make sure that you read the assignment instructions carefully. So in Canvas, click into the Gmetrics assignment, read up on the instructions because you might be asked to take a certain exam such as practice exam one or skill review one in testing mode, okay? And you wanna make sure that you turn in the correct uh, exam results. Now, if you're asked to do testing mode, I would first practice in training mode so that you get the hang of it and then tackle it in uh, testing mode. Also, if you are practicing for the MOS live exam, I recommend getting an 850 at minimum in testing mode. Okay, passing is 700, but you want an 850 as a cushion uh, when you take the real exam. Okay, I hope that makes some sense. All right, so let's take a look at Excel practice exam one in training mode. If you have Microsoft Office 365 installed on your system, you can just choose to test on your computer. If you don't have it, you can also test it online in the cloud. All right, I'm gonna choose my computer here. You can see I've already started on a test, but you know what, let's start fresh with a new test here. Now at this point, you're going to need to download and install the software, but since I've already done it, okay, you can see that it's launching right now. Also, you'll get a little prompt to open the Gmetrics link in 
the Gmetrics software and you can check a little box so that it doesn't bother you again. Okay, so this is what the MOS environment pretty much looks like. Okay, you can see we have Excel open here. There are seven projects. Don't worry about this timer since we're in training mode. And uh, before we get into all of this, let me show you what these options are. First and foremost, make sure that your display is big enough. You can see that I'm using Windows 10 in a virtual machine or a VM here. I'm running Linux on my main system. So I don't have a whole lot of real estate. Okay, and if you don't have a lot of real estate, you're going to end up doing a lot of this, right? You're going to have to resize things so that you can read them and, and get to uh, certain things in Excel. Okay, so make sure that you have enough space to do it. As a matter of fact, you want, let me go ahead and maximize this window here. Not that it helps much, but okay so test interface tips if you click on the question mark you'll see what the different options do okay uh, if you want to resize your text you can uh, do this as well you can make it really big or you can make it really small okay so you have that option again the timer if you're in testing mode it's going to be counting down from 50 minutes if you want to jump around to the different projects and tasks click on summary okay and uh, you can move around uh, I really wouldn't do this unless uh, you have a, a good reason for it if you need to start over on a project for some reason you could choose restart project keep in mind whatever tasks you have completed are also going to be reset if you need to leave and uh, come back to it later just choose save project and then finally if you are actually testing you would move on to the next project by clicking on grade project Okay, let's take a look at the overview real quick. Uh, this one's called Snow Rentals, and you manage the rental shop at a large winter resort. It's your responsibility to update the list of rental rates. You'll see that this is the first of seven projects. These projects are very similar to what you would see in SimNet and SAM. Okay, we have five tasks here. The first task, import the comma delimited file accessories.csv located in the Gmetrics templates folder into a new worksheet add the import to the data model and accept all other defaults. Whoa, hold on a second here. I have no idea what they are talking about. So I, with comma delimited files and, imp, and this data model, what does all that mean? Well, if you find yourself in that situation, this is exactly why you start in training mode. Let me show you how to get help with a particular task, okay? Let's say you get stuck here okay let's say let's say that you're stuck click on help and now when you scroll down you'll see the steps here so in this case we go to the data tab right in the get and transform data group click on from text CSV and in the Gmetrics templates folder here it is click on the accessories uh, file and then click on import let me scroll down so you see the rest of the steps here. And in the accessories CSV pop-up window, ensure the delimiter is set to comma, which it is. And then, uh, once again, I'm going to have to move this out of the way. Click on the load drop-down, load 2. And make sure it's new worksheet. And then check the box, add this data to the data model. How do I know? Because, well, I can read minds. No, nope, just kidding. Uh, you can see right here right where do you want to put the data make sure a new worksheet is checked add this data to the data model and then click OK and with that said we can mark this task as completed okay marking tasks completed and marking for review is for your own eyes only okay this is for you to be able to keep track within the project because for one particular task you might be asked to do all of these different things and as soon as you're done with that task, mark it so that you can move on to the next one. Okay, that's what I would do. Now, let's say that uh, we're ready to grade the project. I know that I haven't done tasks two through five. Okay, so bear with me here. Let's say that we're gonna grade this project. This is what it would look like. If we did task one correctly, we should get a little check mark 
and obviously because we didn't do tasks two through five, they're all marked wrong. We can choose to go on to the next project or retry and you can see that uh, task one won't be lost. We can just go right on to task two and go from there. Now, when you are in testing mode, you're not gonna be told, right? You, you're just gonna keep moving on and on and at the end, you're going to get a score. Passing on the MOS is 700 out of 1,000. Okay, again, if you are practicing for the real thing, try to go for at least 850, okay? That way you have a cushion. Let me show you how to get your test results so that you can turn them in. If you need that pause button, it's there waiting for you. Okay, so let me go ahead and quit out of this exam. All right, and let's say that we are going to go back and access our test results. So under tests, choose completed tests. And in my case, I need to actually filter this because I have so many different uh, exams. Let's see, under access, there's access, there's Excel Associate. Okay, now I don't have any testing mode results. Uh, I just have training mode, but it's pretty much the same thing, right? So you can see here's, uh, here's your results, right? and uh, we're going to print this to PDF. So we're gonna click on this little printer icon and you could choose Microsoft Print to PDF. Now, if you are in Chrome or you're using Microsoft Edge, you can choose Save to PDF and it's going to do the same thing. Okay, so when you're ready, hit Print. Make sure you know where you're saving this. Okay, so Downloads, that's probably the place to go. I'm gonna call it Gmetrics so it's easy to remember. Now, one thing you want to do before you uh, turn in your uh, test results, take a moment to actually open up the PDF to see if it works, okay? In this case, I have nothing, okay? So you don't want to turn this in. What I ended up having to do uh, was to uh, open up Microsoft Edge, go to Gmetrics, and then try to print it there and you can see there's my test results okay so make sure that you have your name okay make sure it's the right exam and you are in the correct mode okay in most cases it's going to be testing mode so let me pause this video real quick just to show you what it would look like in Chrome or Microsoft Edge so stick around I'll be right back okay and we're back so here we are in Microsoft Edge, and if I go to completed tests, the reason why I'm showing you this is because uh, there's a very good chance you might run into technical problems as I did here. All right, let's uh, bring back that uh, Excel associate results. So again, we click on the printer icon, and you'll notice the printer is set to Microsoft Print to PDF, but we also have a Save as PDF option, just like in Chrome. Okay, there's the preview. Take a moment and check the preview. We click Save, and I already have test results. We'll go ahead and replace this. And uh, again, one more time before we turn in our test results to Canvas, let's make sure that it actually worked and in this case it did okay so one more time make sure you have your name make sure it's the right exam make sure it's the correct mode anyway this is how you work with MOS exams in Gmetrics I hope that this video has helped you out good luck out there and thanks for watching take care folks